Hello and welcome to Tikes TV. Uh, we've got Andy in the red corner, in the top corner today, and Ryan. Uh, Ryan, uh, I saw you at half time, well, just before half time, uh, yeah. we had a bit of a chat there, like, didn't we? So, uh, yeah, Andy, I mean, first half, probably not much in it, if I'm being fair. Goal probably come at right time. Ish did mm. for me, pull off a right save in first half. Yeah. Free kick, but I mean, we did a job, didn't we? Two notes, clean sheet, performance, no injuries, and we move on, don't we? Yeah, we did what we had to do, didn't we? Just get a result. Um, I don't think it was the best game um, <laughs> I've seen at Oakwell. Um, do you think I Oxford, thought was... like, for um, I don't know, a bit of a fortress at Oakwell, you know, we've got a good record, we best make it easy because we didn't really threaten much for did we? No, um, they, they looked like they were. Again, I expected it though that they were just going to. Uh, do that anyway and I think they were open just to catch us on break or probably get a goal with a like a set play um, but yeah performances don't really matter now does it And uh, at this stage of the season it's getting job done and that's what we did um, I just thought atmosphere was a little bit weird as well you know coming off of bigger games that we've just had and it, it was like a little bit back to normal uh, that's how it's sent around does anyway in uh, yeah. East stand. Mm. And like, yeah, big game on Tuesday, but that that was even bigger yesterday, um, and that's why I'm a, a little bit uh, disappointed with, yeah, I'll be honest, attendance as well, because uh, we we are winning yesterday, um, game on Tuesday wouldn't have meant much really. Um, we, we have still got a chance to mathematically anyway to get into second spot, but. Um, yeah, well, big game on uh, yesterday, and yeah, atmosphere just seemed a bit flat. But uh, players did what they did, um, did the job that they had to do, um, and, and that's all we can ask for, really. Mm. Um, I'm pleased for Tedich as well. Um, yeah, yeah, I've I've always rated him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> coming on, to, coming on to Ryan from that. I mean, just what we're on about here, uh, Boban. Uh, two goals seeming to be that bit of confidence and that bit of belief and it just goes to show you get a goal yeah. and your game seems to take a, a change in it you know uh, probably been long of a joy from being honest you know we've, I think us as Barnes fans have always been saying you know his, his work rate off at ball is running down that's fine but it's just for game of goals mm. two in two games good assist by Adam Phillips as well being at right spot at right mm. time again just going what uh, Andy's been saying there, Ryan. We've got no injuries. It's kind of, we've, we've done our job. We'll go in at, after five o'clock. Others have won, right? We'll move on to the next game now, kind of thing, innit? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we got we got the job done. Like Andy said, it weren't the best spectacle, was it, uh, at times. I thought we were a lot better in the second half than the first half. But when I saw yeah. you just, uh, just before half time. Yeah. It, it would drag for staff on it. Let's have it right. It, 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 yeah. it, 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 in fact, I'd go as far to say it was probably a bit poor. Um, Do you think if, I mean, we've just been on about it, Ish dead, if they'd have scored from that free kick, could you have seen the, the mentality of game change if it's, if uh, it's a nipple off that great save for state? Yeah, well, it's hard to say, isn't it? Because, like, it, I think we've touched on it before. Last time we last time we come from behind to win a game was November 2021 against the Abbey. Mm. That's the last time we came in any league game where mm. we've fallen behind. And come back to win game. In mm. fact, I think any game where we've fallen behind and actually had to come back yeah. and win it. So it's hard to say, really. I think would would we and could we have definitely because you know Oxford looked beat from the minute we kicked off. Um, you know, considering they're in a relegation battle, they didn't put much of a fight up, did they? Mm. You know, they look they look disinterested for a lot of it. But mm. um, I just thought for staff for a bit. It was just drab and slow. I don't. We see, you know, since Wednesday game, we seem to have lost a little bit of his pace and as you know, as dynamic play. There were there were pockets of it yesterday. There were pockets of some really good play. And there were that one where they made that really good save in first half off. Uh, it was an header. I think I think it was Teddy. Yeah, and it yeah. Was well. by Ladder Kesh. But that move was great, and we look so good when we we pass and we move and we attack at pace. We look so good, and we're getting behind defenders and we're causing problems. Mm. But then there's too much of this breaking and getting breaking away and then just slowing it up and then hoping for like, a, like I don't know, messing about with edge area, not getting the ball in or ball goes in and it's a bit weak. So first half were, yeah, a bit disappointing, unfortunately. But 
you know, end of it, we got a, we got a goal and got that got one 0 in front. And I thought second half, certainly for the first part of second half, we actually come and we actually played. We started playing some decent stuff then and got you know and obviously put back tight to bed with that second goal. Mm. Again, good header from Thomas front corner. But we haven't give it up. Kitchen's gone out and won't ball back. Put it into Phillips, and Phillips put it in straight away. Yeah, not did, messing yeah. about with it, not letting them reset themselves. You know, they've come back, keepers made a good save, and he's whipped it straight back in. And uh, you know, I thought I thought it was a great header from Teddy at, at, at from mm. course there to glance it across. Yeah. Keeper absolutely nowhere near it. It's a you know, it's a great header. Um, I'm glad you touched on thing though, Andy, because it was something I were I've, I've noticed in the last few games about the attendance, and um, it, it's disappointing when we've had. You know, like the derby come and, and Wednesday come, and we've had a lot more fans there. Mm. And when there's these games, when you still need your fans, they don't they don't turn up. Now, obviously, I don't want to point finger at anyone because I know there's, there's a cost of living crisis going on, and, and people that haven't got a season ticket can't afford. You know, so I, I appreciate they can't be afford to be splashing twenty thirty quid out on just a one off game. I get that, but it just it just feels a bit disappointing when we're getting sort of you know you know a lot. There's a lot of empty seats there in East Stand and. And, and, and West Ham and obviously a bit few in Ponty as well when you know we do need fans and it's if, if you're going to turn up turn up I think for me uh, that, that that was just a bit disappointing with atmosphere I think I think we all knew it were going to be flat a bit flat after Lincoln game and thinking you know automatics have probably gone realistically we're all human aren't we we're all human and you just feel that little bit of a you know what I mean, kind of feeling in it because you think automatics have gone, and I think in order for atmosphere to have got going right from start yesterday, because it picked up its second half, but I think for atmosphere to have got going, would you need the lads to put that performance in, you know, to to, to get together's going, and it were a really flat first half, so that's what I think sort of felt like in Oakwell as well. Mm-hmm. I'll put this to you because well, like I think it's over like twelve thousand a summit, which I were. A, Bit few I raised because uh, Oxford didn't bring back many. I thought 12,000 or something. Mm, all right, yeah. Do you think if it had been a no disrespect to Oxford and you know, because the same to like Burton next to and stuff like that when we, when we come and travel, do you think it'll be a different atmosphere coming up to it on Tuesday night when they're fetching more in the way end? Because I find that when you've got a better away following, oh, and again, I don't mean being disrespectful. The, it like ups, ups the atmosphere, ups the chanting. I mean, either one of y'all can answer this. Like, do you think that'll be different? Um, uh, well, absolutely. I've, I've been, having a full away end, that the size of our away end is is. Let's have it right. It's probably too big, but it's great when we fill it. When the sides come and fill it, and yeah. I think that's one of the one of the things that we just have to deal with when we're dropping into League One. That there aren't as many big clubs in League One with the same amount of following. You can't. Just invent fans, even if they bring you know all their away fans, they're still not going to fill that away end. Yeah. yeah. So, of course, yeah, I think it'll you know when that away end's full, it makes for a better atmosphere across the whole ground because they they'll be singing, they'll be making it noisy, so we'll want to retaliate. I think it makes, I think it does make a massive difference. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, I agree. It, 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 well, it does, doesn't it? And I think it will at any ground. I don't think that's yeah. just um, unique to Barnsley. But it, yeah, it just I think it just felt a bit flat. More of I think you're more to do with the fact that the automatics have gone. Because I think as the weeks have gone by, when we've been winning and winning, and especially at home, and we've always had that chance of it there. There's always that excitement in there, and I think that excitement lends itself to a better atmosphere. Mm-hmm. And now that's gone. It would just I think it just felt a bit flat. It got better in a bit in second. A bit got a bit better in second half, didn't it? Uh, I think probably <laughs> that was year when Wednesday went behind. <laughs> <laughs> well, we started singing Wednesday get battered, which they didn't. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Uh, uh, Andy, do you kind of go with the same what Ryan said about you know a way end up thing, bring more? Yeah. It kind of ups our our intensity I, in, in vocal. Yeah, yeah, I agree with everything that Ryan has just said. Yeah, um, I'm looking forward to Tuesday. Um, really, really am. It's going to be. Should be a good game. Um, obviously, both teams are up there, aren't they? Um, and obviously, it gives, well, I think it gives it a bit of extra spice with uh, Mr. Chaplin playing as well for them as well. So, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be interesting on uh, on Tuesday. Um, yeah, can't wait. But uh, yeah, I, I hope it's a bit more. Well, it it, it will be when it? it it will be a bit more yeah. bouncing. Oh well, uh, on Tuesday without a doubt. Yeah, uh, and before we get on, to, we're going to come on to um, 
if it's game in a minute, we're going to preview that. I just want to wish everybody an happy St George's Day. Um, might as well get back in and say it. Uh, so, yeah, happy St George's Day to uh, people. For me, I mean, just touching on back on it, Oxford, for me, I think Boban got man at match and it was my man at match. But I'd, I'd also probably chuck up be Adam Phillips as well because I think Phillips had a, had a decent yeah. game, yeah. a assisting tool. And not far behind Dishted, had uh, yeah, It's proven to be a, a fan favourite at the minute, and rightly so. Uh, chance coming out for him, sign him up, you know. Absolutely. Uh, two, two great saves yesterday. So I don't yeah. know if, if you all kind of agree or disagree on that. Like, but for me, Bobam got it for man of the match. Uh, close full of by Alan Phillips and Mike for me. Yeah, you've got you've got to give it to him. So he, he put himself about and he got he got he got a brace. I thought I thought he played really well, um, Tedich, but he's dead. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Two really good saves. That that save at the end, that off mm. there, that is, that's spectacular. Yeah, yeah. That really is because yeah. he's, he's up in top ends. He's going, he's, he's, you know, he's behind it and he's at a full stretch and he's got a good strong hand at it to palm it away as well. It's That's a fantastic save. I think he's, you know, I, I, I think Collins is a great keeper, but I just think he's just got that bit more. I think he's just a bit more skillful. He, he, he's pulled off some spectacular saves, hasn't he? And I think his distribution, he gets ball moving a lot quicker. So mm. I genuinely, genuinely hope we sign him. Yeah. Honestly, I, I really do. Yeah, yeah, me too. Andy, I mean, instead, this is what uh, Rice is, is out of contract at the end of the season. You know, what what a competition that's going to be in it for number one. But I mean, I've noticed that just what Ryan was saying there. He seems to get ball and he seems to distribute it so much quicker, faster, whether it be a kick or he seems, a, 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 seems to have a longer kick on him, but his throw outs as well seem. Yeah, pretty spot on when I've seen yeah. him. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I again I agree totally. Oh, we've got uh, first dibs on him. Uh, oh, that's part of his loan deal. Me, that mm. you know, we've got option to. I know, I know he's out of contract, but I'm hoping that we've still got first dibs on. Uh, you know, on to get him permanent. Um, mm. We've got two good keepers there. That's if Collins is uh, there next season, because I, I don't think Collins will be. Happy if uh, Ishted does sign, um, you know, playing in, yeah. um, well, whether it's League One or Championship, but like second choice. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting that that position. Um, I think, and yeah, I'm, I'm glad for um, Tadic as well. Gate man at match. Um, I've criticised him in past. Um, I've said before that I don't think when when he comes on, he doesn't look like he's going to change game. Um, but yeah, I know I scored two goals yesterday, but that, that was still, I personally think, the best uh, game he's had in the Barnsley shirt since he's been here mm. or since he's come on because he's not started that much anyway. Um, and I'm pleased for him. Um, showed his quality and I'm hoping now, like you've just said, that uh, you know that confidence just uh, shows him on a bit further now for these last few games and it, it does look like for playoff games as well. Um mm. Because there's other strikers waiting to uh, fill that position now, um, yeah. so it, it's all good. It's all good. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm pleased for him. Like I say, I've criticised him, but uh, if they play well, you know, this is what I like about this channel. If they play well and do well, we call it out. If not, if they don't play well, we, uh, we call it out as well. Mm -hmm. And fair deals to him. Yeah, yeah. It, it looked really, really sharp yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, good, good, fair points. I mean, like I say, for me, it's competition. I mean, Luke Thomas didn't even get off at bench yesterday. So, again, it mm. shows you the amount of competition for places like now. Uh, and we could go back a few months when we're going through a bit of a sticky patch before Adam Phillips. And we're saying, oh, we're missing Luke Thomas and he's not creating. And now, it, that's competition is that immense like now, but for starting 11, He's lucky to get off the bench, and it's no disrespect to Luke Thomas. It just goes to show the standard and the belief that the team yeah. and the, the old yeah. squad are playing. So, again, yeah. it's a, it's an edit, but a nice edit for Duff, like you said, via it's competition yeah. places and probably all areas. He's dead up front now with Boban. You know, you look at players, I mean, people were wanting Norwood to start, you mm. know, off the bench. So, again, you look at that, and it can only be good for us going forward. Um, yeah, last few games and in playoffs, so good it in right form, uh, form and frame of mind. So Ryan, just going back to Ipswich game, which we know was coming up on Tuesday night, big game for both sides yeah. for both different reasons. Uh, Ipswich probably try and cement a place, you know, to break away from the third spot for automatic, and us to try and claw via. 
Going into this game, and it might be a bit controversial, this, do you think Barnsley are a bit of underdogs on this one? Um, Potentially, maybe, or, but only if it were, only ever slightly. I think it's just because it's, it's on such good form, but also mm. we're on, you know, we've got the best record in over 100 years uh, mm. with a win record at home. We're mm. very strong at Oakwell. If you look at the last 30 games, there's no there's no between us and, and, and the rest of the top four around us. Yeah. So... Potentially, maybe just on, on on recent form, but I don't think I, I think there's no in it. I think the two really good teams. We've not probably been quite at the races last few games, but you know, against against the bigger teams at home this season, we've we, we've, we've done it. Some we? Really, some of his best football. So, yeah, um, I, I don't think so. I think I think we can beat them Tuesday night. Obviously, I, I'll say that because I'm a Barnsley fan. But are they are they are they are they a great side? It's which yeah, they really are. You know, mm. I think it's going to be probably the toughest game. It's the toughest game we've had at home this season. So, and I'm looking, like Andy said earlier, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I'm, I can't wait for Tuesday night. So, yeah, it's going to be a good game. Uh, Andy, I mean, just going off what Brian was saying there, you know, two, two sides both in form. Um, us, great home record. Ipswich, we just like turning up and people say, yeah, we've spent money this over, but end of the day, you can spend money on players, but it's game the team and the players, no matter how much money you spend to play as a team. And that's mm-hmm. off to Ipswich. They're coming up in a midweek game as well, 5,000. So fair play to yeah. their fans as well. Yeah, really Im- immense yeah, fat. Yeah. Immense yeah. fat. Yeah, really, really immense fat. I mean, it's a long, it, it's it a is. long way, isn't it? It's a long yeah, way. Yeah. If you've ever been to Great Yarmouth and stuff like that, and down to Norwich, yeah. them roads, there's not many motorways. A lot of it's A roads no. until you get towards A1, towards that's uh, right. Peterborough. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fair old trek, so you know, hats off to them. There's, there's, there's yeah. five thousand coming. That's that's fantastic. Yeah. But you can't beat it. No, fair play to it, which I mean, like you say, you couldn't understand if you wanted to stop at Pennines or you know, even as Yorkshire uh, local rivals have affected it. Yeah, it's still a great following. Don't get me wrong, you know, cost of living, but midweek from Ipswich, five thousand. It's like, yeah, hats off to you, mate. Yeah, you know, yeah. each and every one of them boys, men, girls, you know, women. Fair play to you because they've had to take their own commitments out from you know work and uh, days off and stuff like that. So yeah, full respect for it's rich town fans for travelling that distance and in new numbers as well. Uh, Andy, I mean, just going like what we're I saying, you know, have we ought to fear both two sides going into it under lights? Oh well, we seem to not turn up, but we seem to relish these kind of games playing your top yeah. your top size where we can. Get in the muster to show what we can do, kind of thing, Andy. Um, yeah, uh, it's it's a strange one, isn't it? I don't think we've got not to fear as such that you know, um, it, it's shown that we can compete with teams that's already up there and so called bigger teams. Um, but then again, you know, look at run what's what it switches on. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, we, we've, we've all got to be uh, switched on from minute one uh, on Tuesday. Um, from uh, front to back, um, I personally think anyway, because uh, I think if we give him a little bit of a chance, or you know, um, yeah, a little bit of a mistake at back, I, I don't think Ipswich will take that. Uh, mm. Honestly, it's going to be a mm. tough game. It's going to be mm. hardest game, and I think, well, without a doubt, biggest game at season, mm. and that's including uh, Wednesday's game. Um, I think this is even bigger. Mm. Um, like I said, mathematically, yeah, I know we're not out on it, but yeah, it is looking like playoffs. But uh, you never know if we, you know, if we get a result on Tuesday, uh, it can <laughs> blow it uh, up, uh, all open again at, at top of the league. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, again, with having a young squad as well, uh, I think that's what younger players seem to do. They seem to raise the game with uh, players that's in front of them as well. So... Yeah, no, I don't think we've got out to fear as such, but uh, yeah, we've got to we've got to be on a Zay game, I think, on Tuesday. Without a doubt, it's going to be a tough one. No, to fear, but like be on and be, you know, yeah, kind of thing. So, Ryan, I mean, coming back to you, I mean, it kind of leads into starting eleven. Would you make any changes? I mean, it was interesting debate this. What were well, a few people around me because we're about uh, Laresh. And we're saying that it brings a bit something different to the game from Caden where he seems to be more defensive minded than Caden get, getting bombing yeah. forward. And just while going what Andy was saying there, really, I mean, we need all defensive units to be switched on. And people will say, yeah, Neil, but look at 
games before that, Karen's got a couple of goals and that. I fully appreciate that. But a game with Ipswich, would you... I think Karen will come in the same person. I think yeah. I think Duff will bring him in. Um, would you make any other changes? Because we always like to say, don't we? And it's like a yeah. broken record. We don't change a winning side. But with this kind of game, are you going to just like think, mm, this might just so this kind of play like Norwood going up against yeah. Ipswich Town? Absolutely. So you know? <laughs> I'd, I'd definitely bring Cadden back in. Mm. Just I don't think Ladakesh has done a bad job, but I think we've no, missed him. No. Yeah. Like you say, I agree, he's a bit more defensive minded, but Cadden, we missed that. That get, he, He's willing to take that last man on and get to the byline and get mm. that ball in. He's got a great strike on him. He's got a great cross. I think we've missed them crosses coming in. You know, mm. he, He's got a great delivery. He's always a threat from threat set pieces. So... I, I think Cadden has to come in. I, I, I really rate him. I think he's been a great signing. So I think Cadden comes back in and deserves to come back in. By the way, mm, yeah. Um, for me, I'd change out. I'd change out Cole for Norwood. Yeah. Up front and leave Teddy John um, yeah. with with Norwood. That's. But other than that, no. Leave it as is. Other yeah, I agree. With, I, I agree with that, Ryan. Um, Andy, you're take on it, mate. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to say the same. I'd like to see Cadden um, come back in on Tuesday. As harsh as it would be on the cash, I think I think Cadden uh, has done brilliantly this season. Um, yeah. When it when it shining, he, like he had a bit that, of a dodgy start, didn't he, at the beginning? Because there were people, you know, he got injured, and I think he came yeah. back too quick after his first injury. And I think even Duff said that we we kind of rushed him in, and we shouldn't have really yeah. done it. But now that he's gone up to his worth. You can see why you were getting all these assists for Forest Green of last yeah. season. We're getting rave reviews, weren't he, Andy? Yeah, he's a skillful player. I think we've mm. done well to get him, me. Mm. I bet we've bet uh, quite a few top and probably um, clubs, probably lower in championship to, to get his signature. Yeah. I, bet, yeah. I bet we've bet some decent teams to get his signature there. And mm. um, yeah, he's turned out to be a great signing. Um, but yeah, to, for me, like I said, although it's uh, a bit harsh on Makash, I think... Uh, Cadden uh, needs to come in and yeah, I'd like to see Norwood uh, start as well. Um with a former club as well, isn't it? So well, yeah. would you have Norwood and Tedich or Norwood and Cole? I don't think you can drop Tedich, can you? So mm. probably Tedich and uh, Norwood up front. Yeah, yeah, I'm in agreement with what uh, Ryan said via. I mean, I kind of I kind of can see Cadden coming in. Um Again, it might down to Duff. I mean, I'm not dissing yeah. him. I'm not going to call him out at the end of the day. Seeing it, what he sees in training and what he's doing at the minute is like a messiah at the minute for what his calls and what his stuff is doing. Uh, but I've, I think, for, in my opinion, I mean, I've, I thought uh, Norwood might have started against uh, Oxford. But whether that were in mind, you know, if it's a town game, he's going to be fired up for it. You know, because he always does yeah. against his former, yeah. you know, Forest Green and that. He likes to give a bit of verbals and be old here. What you what, what, what's all this about? He, lo- he loves all that. So you want that, don't you? On the choosing night uh, under lights. Uh, but I'm going with all guys, what you've said there. Yeah, Cadden and uh, coming in and Norwood with Tedich up front. And I think, I think them two will work well as together. I think Tedich will help ball up well and bring Norwood into it and vice versa. I think Norwood will do what he does. And yeah. we all know what he does. Uh, but again, it's to ruffle them up and we can't let them settle. So, yeah, I, I, I agree with you all guys. Uh, Ryan, I mean, who do you think will be important player for us on the night and the score as well? I think that, I think we've said it a few times before, we haven't we are been too boring, but I think like that, you know, I think um, Connell, and call uh, and and Kane in midfield. Midfield, yeah. We're gonna have to get that mm-hmm. ball into midfield and get it out. To get it, get it. You know, especially especially how he wins it back, Connell, and then the distribution out to get 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 it, and get that ball moving quick mm. and turn around quick because they're, they're really solid. At it, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to attack it pace. So I think them two picking ball up at middle. Not I hope we don't do long ball. But yeah. I think them two at middle there um, are, are gonna are gonna be vital. Mm. Um, um, as far as the score, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it. Try and make it a classic. I'm going to say three two Barnsley. It's, de- <laughs> it's definitely going to be close, but let's. <laughs> I might be optimistic. But come on, let's have a crack. Let's have a crack. Oh my god, um, it's going to be, it's going to be tough. Now, it's going to be very close. It yeah. could. It could easily be a draw. It could easily go the other way. Um, yeah. It's uh, probably the hardest game of the season to call in it. Really. Yeah. Um, 
That's but, true. You know, yeah. obviously been a Barnsley fan. I'm going to be optimistic and say three two Barnsley. Three two Barnsley. And he's going to have a few chair shots. So I'm waiting for his. It's going to be like five no and some of you. Right, Andy. So <laughs> influential player, mate. And what, what's your score going to be on the night? Um, key play. I think there's a field to choose from. To be honest, it's hard to. Like I said before, we need to switch uh, be switched on at back. Um, so you could easily go for like Anderson back because it's captain as well. Mm. Um, but you know what? I think um, I think Norwood. I think he's going to be uh, a key player on Tuesday. Mm. Not just um, for obviously because we need to take his chances. Like, but like we've touched on, it's it's his former club. He knows how to wind people up. Um, mm. It it will. I mean, we all know Norwood now. Nah. Um, we, we know he's going to try and um, have a point to prove as well on Tuesday to his former employees. Um, then again, probably Chaplin will as well. But uh, yeah, I think Norwood um, is going to be key. Uh, I honestly do. Um, well, I'm hoping so anyway. But uh, yeah, like I say, you, you could pick a few uh, from um, Anderson through to midfield and Norwood, but I'm going to go for Norwood. Um and my score prediction, it, it, it's a tough one. Um, it's hard. Um, I don't like going for draws, but uh, I've got a feeling it could be a draw. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for one one, and it's very very rare. I go for a Barnsley draw, but mm, uh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but yeah, one one for me. One one, so no chair shots, Stephen. Andy, you got no, uh, no, I'm all right. It's been early, isn't it? It's all right, Sunday morning, it's early. Sunday morning. <laughs> uh, I think I get where you're coming from, and all uh, Norwood up front, and I get where Ryan's coming from as well with midfield. I think it's midfield's going to be there's going to be key battles, I'm, and I'm going through spine at uh, side, I'm going to good defense as well. I thought for me, Anderson, I don't know what your guys think about this, we'll come on to this as well. I thought for me, Anderson yesterday at times he looked a bit too laid back, a bit too for some ball and thinking show a bit of urgency. Yeah, because we're coming from thinking, whoa, it's a bit too calm. This like, I, I it's it, at times it kind of like, well, get to it, react to it, and I'm like, you can't be making them kind of calls against you. It's threats are such as like your chapter. Yeah, oh, you, you can't know, do that against this now. You need yeah. to be on it. So for me, yeah. I think I'm going to go Anderson. I'm going. I, I know Andy touched a, a bit uh, about it, saying his captain's performance. I think we do need his captain to be on it on night. Calm heads. Make sure we don't pick up any silly bookings like such as kitchen and about early doers because we'll play straight into the hands if we do. But I think we need to be switched on at back. Um, but again, I mean, there's going to be some big calls all over the pitch. If I'm being fair, Ishted, um you can go for Kane and Connell in midfield to get ball and implement their play. You can go for Norwood up front. You could go for Nicky Cannon going back and Williams at right, right wing backs and left wing backs trying to create and get for I think there's so many battles to be won in this midfield and all over the pitch to be fair. It's going to be key. Um and it's interesting and all. And it's gone one one. You've uh, Ryan's gone for three two. I'm gonna go two one because I think it's gonna be so tight this game. It's gonna be either a set piece what could make it, it could lose it. I think it's going to be such a tight game, this. I'm just hoping that a referee is going to understand the magnitude of this game and he's not going to ruin it. He's going to try and allow it to flow. Uh, Not to be little niddly things. Let the game flow where it can. If it warrants a a booking, fair enough, but not all stupid or silly just to disrupt the game. Yeah, good point, it's it's two it's two it's two sides going into it and like we touched on earlier, Ipswich should be looking for their own games to go for automatic. We're looking to try and claw that gap to go for automatic. So I'm wanting a referee. What's not? <clears throat> we're not going to be talking about referee after game saying he's done this done that. All being well, we're talking about referee in a positive way saying you know what you want the best with ever for both sides and allow the game to flow. So for me, I'm going to one Barnsley and Mads Anderson to be uh, my key play kind of thing so um yeah i don't know what your guys think about that yeah good shout um, yeah good shout yeah. I, think, I think yeah a bit not, i won't say we're off it yesterday but that mistake he made it first half when um that their striker got through and he put it into yeah. the side netting yeah <laughs> i know that against it I know. That's, that's one deal in it 
Yeah, I, I think he was just lackadaisically. I don't think he, I don't know if he knew danger were there, and he just sort of let it go past him, and he and he and he. I saw it. I'm like, oh my absolutely god! Absolutely got wow. away with one there. You know, yeah. we really did. I think they thought it were in at Oxford then because they sent net ripple. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They thought it were in. Yeah, um, it were a bit ooh, too close. It really was. Yeah. What we all said, it can't do that against Ipswich because that's if you get if you give Connor Chapel in that space, it's one 0 Yeah, yeah. But Mads is usually solid. To be fair, they won it second half where they, I think they broke freed out left, and him and Bobby Thomas were chasing him back, and it was Mads that got back and got the tackle in. Yeah. Um, that's so, the kind of mad I yeah, want to see. Kind of, yeah, yeah. So that, that's, that's the mad Anderson we know and love, isn't it? So. Yeah, yeah. Andy, what you know? Do you kind of agree with that? Um, yeah, I could have gone for Anderson as well. So yeah, like I said, I think there's a few. There's going to be a few key players. Yeah, um, it is, but okay, yeah. I agree with uh, Ryan's and your choice as well, Neil. It's uh, it's a good job, Andy. Well, yeah, ah, I've, got, I've got the option, have I? It's all about, hey, mate, it's all about opinions. It's all about opinions. That's all. It's all about opinions and respect. Yeah, but it's, yeah, mate, it's all about opinions. We've all, yeah, you know, of course it is. Yeah, and whoever it's, comes on, it's we've all got uh, valid points and issues and race things. And um, yeah, both uh, you and Dee and Ryan contribute back to a, a lot. And and again, other people come on, Dave, James, you know, Daniel. Charlie, Caleb, Young, uh, when they come on, they all have their yeah. own opinions, and again, yeah. that's what it's all about. Uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Good for you. I had a chair shot this morning, anyway, but <laughs> need my own one from that. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I mean, let us know your thoughts and comments in section below. Uh, is it going to be a close game? You know, fair play to which is coming up. They're going to be tight. Uh, let us know your uh, score predictions. Let us know. Would you be bringing Karen back in? Would you be altering out up front? Uh, one thing I think we all can agree on: we're all going for a, you know a, a close, tight game uh, with magnitude in it. So it's going to be interesting to see what people's thoughts on our, are on this. If you are going, um, have a good evening. Uh, it's going to be, prove to be a cracker. I think Oakwell bouncing and buzzing under the lights. So I always like Oakwell under the lights. It always brings that bit of the sure, atmosphere yeah. and that. So let's all be well. We can come out in it with three points. Can claw if it's a draw, it's a draw. We're still in playoffs, we still need to go in these last two games. Let's solidate that. Let's go into a great frame of mind, and uh, who knows what can happen. So, Andy and Ryan, appreciate you taking time out and joining me. We really do appreciate it. It's always uh, great to have your thoughts about stuff. People who's watching, please like, subscribe, and share. I know you always do. Uh, we've gone over 10,000 subscribers. Appreciate each and every one of you. And if there's any of your town fans watching this, uh, safe travels up. Uh, fair play to you fetching a fair amount up so uh, when you do come to Oakwell um, be great to have you in Oakwell for an atmosphere yeah. so yeah. one thing left to say you Reds <laughs>